Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, I'm out here today. I'm going to try to see if I can smooth out a, a brand new um, cast iron pan. I got this little six inch uh, Lodge brand cast iron pan that I picked up at uh, Walmart. And I kind of want to slick this up a little bit, take off some of that factory uh, seasoning that they do. Because uh, I don't believe they do a whole lot to smooth out the cast marks from the uh, sand mold. So I'm going to start off today with a uh, 90 degree die grinder with a about a half wore out 24 grit on there. I'm not going to be able to show you too much about it. Right? Let me grind this a little bit here and I can show you. As you can see, there's a lot of rough casting there. We're going to try to take down most of that. We'll start off with some 24 grit. We'll move over to the orbital sander, maybe with a 60 grit and try to see if we can slick, slick this thing up a little bit. Okay folks, after just a few minutes of grinding, you can see we still have a lot of rough casting there, okay? We're actually working on smoothing some of it out. We had to wait for our little compressor to catch up, but we're gonna continue on. I'm working just on the sides of it right now, and then we'll, uh, as you can see, there's still just a lot of rough casting there. So I'm going to keep grinding a little bit, a little slow process because i got a, got a little small compressor here. But we'll get the sides work real good and then we'll finish off the bottom of it and we'll just keep on going. We'll see how it turns out. Okay folks, things are going pretty good here, but I want to show you something if we can get it up here to the camera. As you can tell, uh, the 24 grit on the 90 degree die grinder is working pretty good pulling the uh, rough casting off of the sides there. But if you look down in the little corner here, it's kind of hard to get all that really rough casting down in there out of there. So what I broke out today was the little uh, straight die grinder with a carbide burr on it. Some of the stuff we used to use when we were porting and polishing and cleaning up lifter valleys and uh, small block Chevy engines. Uh, we're going to take this and this is going to work pretty good like right down in here. I'm going to kind of show you a final spot here. As you can see how rough the casting is right in that little corner there. We got this little burr we can get down in there. And we can just lightly work that rough casting right out of there. Okay guys, after a few minutes of that carbide burr, we've actually got that corner actually straightened up pretty good all the way around. We're gonna go back to our uh, 24 grid on the 90 degree die grinder. We're gonna keep working these sides a little bit. This is taking so long because I got this little bitty compressor out here. Hey, if there's any uh, tool companies out there that wanna donate a nice uh, shop compressor to Mint Hillbilly, I'd be more than appreciative. Uh, another thing that we're gonna do here, uh, the part line on a cast iron pan is uh, right here on the edge. This is where they cast their mold right here on this very edge here. And so here on the handle, you know, you got a little bit of this uh, part line here that's a little bit rough to the touch. So we're gonna take the sander and just go around there and polish that down too to where it's nice and smooth, where it don't hurt your hand when you're using it. All right, we're gonna continue on guys. Folks, we've uh, got the sides of it pretty good. Uh, like you saw me uh, shining up the um, flashing mark around the handle here. This feels a lot better in the hand now. I actually took this edge off all the way around here. Anytime you're dealing with metal, I mean, I've learned this from the, my racing days and stuff. Anytime you can take the sharp edge off of anything, you're gonna make it, uh, an edge is always a place for a crack to start. So anytime you can just take that sharp little edge off of there, that's gonna um, help prevent any type of cracking or anything as well. We might actually take this little edge off around here just a little bit. But we're gonna start working on the bottom now. We're gonna start seeing if we can get it to smooth up a little bit and we will continue on. As you can see, that's a lot of rough texture down there. So we're gonna have to work a little harder on it. Hi 
right, guys, we actually broke out our little four inch uh, Makita here. Uh, I forgot that I had some sandpaper rolls for it. I took my guard off of it. So if you take a guard off of a tool like this, be real careful with it. And um, I've got my sandpaper, just some more out pieces. I wish I had some new pieces, but uh, it's actually working pretty good. It's knocking that uh, rough casting off of there a little bit quicker, as you can tell. I'm gonna keep on working with this thing and we'll uh, hopefully get it ready to season here later today and I'll show you how we do that. We got this thing uh, pretty slick. I've got most of the casting out. I can't get all of it out. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'd probably end up grinding the whole thing away if I did. But uh, we have got it to the point now that I'm gonna take my orbital sander with some 60 grit and we're gonna start sanding away and see what happens. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call that finished. <clears throat> we have definitely slicked this pan up pretty good. We've got most of that old casting out of there uh, with the orbital. We kept going over it with some 60 grit, and then we went back over with one piece of uh, 150. We definitely got a lot better finish on there than we did to start with. So let's take this thing inside. I'm gonna see how long this video is, and see if I got enough time to show you how to season this, or we might just make a separate video on seasoning this pan. So stay tuned. Okay guys, in the kitchen now. We're getting ready to uh, prepare to season this thing. Now we, you know, we just come from the shop and there's probably some metal dust and things of that nature in there. So we're just gonna, first of all, just try to knock out as much of that as we possibly can, okay? But we do wanna wash this thing, but we still don't wanna wash it with soap, okay? I just don't think soap, anything that you wouldn't wanna eat, don't put in your pan, okay? So we got another little mixture here we're gonna actually wash this with. So let's uh, let's get a little cold water going here. All right, and we're gonna take a little bit of uh, baking soda. Let me make sure the camera can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna take a little bit of baking soda and throw in there, and a little bit of coarse kosher salt here. Okay, and we're just gonna get us a paper towel, and we're gonna wet it over here on the sink and we're going to go ahead and just start scrubbing this pot really good with this paper towel and this salt and baking soda and we'll scrub this up a little bit and then we'll <coughs> rinse it off in the sink and we might even do it again okay so let me get that knocked out and we'll move on to the next step all right guys check out that paper towel that i used to do that with pretty nasty huh we're gonna do it one more time go through the same thing baking soda a little bit of salt and, another, and a fresh paper towel all right guys now what we're doing is we're gonna we're rinsing it with hot water so it kind of open up the pores a little bit and just taking a fresh paper towel and we're just gonna keep on rinsing out of there make sure we got everything out of there good see what our paper towel looks like as you can see it looks a lot better now we don't have all that crud and everything all over all right, now I got two ovens in this house here. I'm very lucky to have two. I got one of them heating up to 200 degrees, and I got one of them heating up to 350 degrees, okay? We're gonna take the one, we're gonna put this pot right now into the one that is heating up to 200 degrees, okay? Let me just towel dry this off a little bit, real fast, to get most of the water off of here, okay? And then I'm going to put it in that oven and heat it up to 200 degrees. Looks like we're already starting to get a little bit of old rust or something, you know, starting here quick. So we're going to move a little quicker here. It's just a little bit of discoloration, but it ain't nothing. All right, so here we go. We're going to put it in this oven. Let's see if I can pan it around here so you can see. I'm going to pop it in that oven right there upside down for about 15 minutes. And now to dry it out and heat it up and we'll be ready to start our seasoning process. Okay folks, it's been about 15 minutes. I will reach over here and grab this uh, skillet out of the oven and bring it on over here to the little area here. All right, 
while it's nice and hot, okay? It's 200 degrees. Here's the fun part. Let's pour a little bit of grape seed oil, okay? You can use grape seed or flax seed. I hear is the two best recommended. And go ahead and make sure you grab your handle here. Don't forget, you're gonna end up uh, burning yourself. Let's take that oil and we're gonna rub it all over everything generously to start with, okay? Let's go ahead and rub it in good. We're gonna get the handle, okay? We're gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna do the back side of it too, everything, okay? Go ahead and just coat it with the oil. Make sure we're still in the camera good. Yep, we are. Okay, let's get this handle real good on both sides. Let's flip back over, rub it in here real good, okay? Now, this is rag number one. You're gonna need two rags, okay? Actually gonna need three or a pot holder, something to hold it with. Let's get that real good, okay? So rag number one, Let's set it aside, okay? All right, let's set it aside. We'll get rag number two, clean rag, okay? And now what you wanna do is pretend like you're trying to wipe all that oil off, okay? Just grab that rag and wipe it good. Pretend like you're trying to remove every bit of that oil, okay? I'm gonna get your handle, flip it upside down, Wipe it real good. And folks, we're ready to go into the oven, the other oven that's heated up to 350 degrees. So let me turn the camera off and pan it around and I'll show you that little step. Okay, folks, here's our other oven. Notice that I put a piece of tin foil on the lower rack and I'm just gonna set this thing up in here and shut the door. And we're gonna leave it in here for one hour okay so we'll see you back in an hour okay folks after we've taken it out of the oven for an hour we've allowed it to cool off some it's still a little warm right now but as you can see we're starting to get a little golden color out of the first seasoning treatment now what we will do now we will actually repeat this process two more times so I'm getting ready to heat up the other oven back up to 200 degrees and we'll leave it in there for 15 minutes and then we'll be going back into the other oven and then we'll do all that one more time. And after three seasonings, I'll finish up this video and show you what it looks like. Okay, folks, it's been three times now that we have done the seasoning process and we've allowed this to cool off a little bit. Let's bring it out and take a look at it. And as you can see, we are starting to build a little bit of seasoning on there. And I think from this point here, and you can see that it shines just like one of them $200 um, skillets now. It's nice and polished and it's starting to get some seasoning on there. So friends, that's how you take your lodge um, cast iron skillet and you grind it down a little bit and you re-season it. We're getting ready to, uh, we're gonna wrap this video up, but uh, I'm gonna fry some bacon in it probably tomorrow morning and maybe some hash browns. Those are two good things to start a new uh, cast iron skillet with. And maybe we'll even make a video about that. So friends, thanks, thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to join us on Patreon, you can for as little as a dollar a month. Have a great day. Bye-bye.